Welcome everybody to Just 180, and in this 180 seconds I wanted to talk to you about a news article that recently ran online about a woman staying in a hotel in Nashville and being bitten by bedbugs. And I wanted to talk to you real quick about bedbugs in hotels, and also talk about some of the team mentality that goes into dealing with a bedbug infestation. Now, in regards to the hotel with bedbugs, you know, I get calls from lawyers all the time, and they're like, you know, I have a client that stayed in a hotel and was bitten by bedbugs, and, you know, we're looking to sue them. And one of the most important, or I should say one of the first things that I mention to lawyers when they say that is that, you know, in my opinion, you can't really sue a hotel just because you have somebody that encountered bedbugs. There's nothing that hotel can do to prevent a room from being infested by bedbugs. And so, you know, it's really all about what was encountered. You know, if they encountered one or two bedbugs, there's nothing that they can do about that. Now, this person, though, was saying they were bit 200 times, which talks, that, that suggests that there's a pretty significant infestation there. That, on the you know, other hand, is a different story. That's an infestation that had been there for a while, and it looks like the hotel may not have been doing anything to help identify that infestation early on, and depending on what the pest control records are telling you, may or may not have been taking the proper approach to dealing with that bed bug infestation. And so the point I'm trying to communicate is, you know, take precautions to make sure you try not to stay in a hotel that has bed bugs. Do a quick inspection. Make sure nothing's going on. And if you encounter one or two, make sure you take the proper measures not to reintroduce them to your house when you return home. But keep in mind that, you know, it's about what you encountered. If you have one or two bites and there might have been one bed bug, talk to the hotel about it, you know, but th there may not have been anything that hotel could have done about it. Um, now, that being said, you know, in regards to this individual story, there was a quote in here from uh, the Tennessee Hospitality Association that talked about when travelers um, come into hotels, one of the issues they're encountering are people complaining of bed bug bites just to get a free room. While that is a problem, and it is something hotels have to be aware of, that is not the mentality you want to see being quoted in a news story. You know, that's, that's immediately taking the defensive and trying to point the finger, and as long as people who are involved in a bed bug situation are taking that approach, nothing is going to get accomplished. If you're going into a bed bug infestation and you're trying to deal with it, you need everybody dealing with it on the same page. If we're in an apartment community, you need the tenant cooperating, you need the management company doing everything they can to help out, and the pest control company also taking the right approach. And if everybody's in a positive mentality, it can be handled. But when you have somebody already pointing the finger, now the hotel where somebody stayed in and was bitten 200 times, which suggests a significant infestation, and now you have somebody saying, well, you know, we have a lot of people saying, you know, they're, tr they're, they're encountering bed bugs to get a free room. This was not that, you know. And, and that quote showing up in this story just made me shake my head and say, you know, that's the type of mentality and combative nature that will not allow anything to be com accomplished when it comes to dealing with bed bugs. And so being on the same page and all working together is really where everybody needs to be. All right, everybody, those are the two quick points I want to share. If you have any questions about bed bugs, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com. And I hope to see everybody soon enough.